<laughs> in the play Hamlet by William Shakespeare, the comic elements of the play are often overlooked by critics. Fine one, the grave digger scene, particularly highlights this, as does Hamlet's relationship with Osric and Polonius. Shakespeare uses devices such as contrast and relief to enhance the ambiguous views on life and death throughout the play. This, as well as Hamlet's development as an intelligent comic, begins to shape the play as a whole. Act 5, scene 1 comes at a point in the play directly after Ophelia's dramatic death and Laertes' demand to seek revenge. We may also find that Act 5, scene 1 serves as an almost anti-climax of the play, as we find that we are introduced to simplistic characters who are not quite as intense as those we have previously been introduced to. Language use in this scene epitomises the simplicity in which the gravedigger thinks. Casual references to doomsday reinforce just how at home he is within the matter of death. Jokes and riddles, for example, Whose grave is this, Sarah? It is mine, sir. Provide light relief from the otherwise depressing thoughts of decline. Um, the gravedigger also speaks in rhymes and riddles, an interesting dramatic device. Talking of dramatic devices, the gravedigger's song, A pickaxe and a spade, a spade, for a under shouting sheet, oh, a pit of clay, for to be made, for such a guest as meet. Also as dramatic variety and comedy. One might say that the gravediggers represent a humorous type commonly found in Shakespeare's plays. Most certainly, they highlight the contrast to the reactions of death, as shown, one that was a, a woman, sir, but rest her soul, she's dead. One of the key functions of the comic aspects of Hamlet is to present the character of Hamlet as a potentially romantic hero. In different circumstances, Hamlet could actually be the hero of one of Shakespeare's romantic plays, such as Twelfth Night. However, this emphasises the tragedy of his situation. The characters of Polonius and Osric apart from other things, are used for comic effect in Hamlet. Polonius' first humorous aspect comes in tier two, when Hamlet mocks his self-important attitude after his repetition of I. This comes after the intense scene with the ghost in 1-5, therefore serving to lighten the mood of the play. Osric in 5-2 is a reminder of the pompous Polonius who was toyed with by Hamlet's scholarly language use, just as Polonius was in Act 2, Scene 2. Osric also serves as the king's new courtier, Another parallel to Polonius as one of the king's yes men. In the play Hamlet by William Shakespeare. <laughs> we are not yet drawn to the climax of the play. <laughs> I can think of a word. Now we find that Act 5, Scene 1 is a kind of... <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready, go. I'm ready. You ready? Simplicity. Um, right. Language use in this scene epitomises the simplicity in which the gravedigger thinks. <laughs> You're not supposed to be my whole show, okay? <laughs> For example... <laughs> it was great. 
name is this, the wrong? <laughs> it's mine, but... <laughs> One might say that the grave diggers are. Go, oh. sweetie. Well, you have to tell what's my cue. What is my cue? Cue's on the red light on. What's your motivation, though? <laughs> Forget your cue, what's your motivation, though? One might say. <laughs> oh, sorry, carry on. <laughs> carry on, you've got to walk in. They represent the contrast to the reactions of death, as seen in. Why is it that? One that was <laughs> sorry. Do it again. You can really do. Yeah. Oh, no. You should see the amount of. One might say that the grave diggers represent a humorous type, coldly bland in Shakespeare's plays. Do me? I do me? I'm starting to. Who else do you like? We've got to have a look at the two wearing this one. One might say that. Grave diggers represent humorous type colony. <laughs> I've lost the world to live myself. <laughs> I like that look. <laughs> do it, it's so funny. <laughs> please, be, please do that, Mr. Yummy, really funny. I'm causing any trouble. One of the key functions of the comic aspects of Hamlet as a play is presenting Hamlet as a potentially romantic hero. Oh my. <laughs> One of the key functions of the comic aspects of Hamlet is presenting Hamlet, the character of Hamlet. No. <laughs> One of the key functions of the comic aspects of the. Ha <laughs> Josh, Josh. <laughs> One of the key features of the comic aspects of the play of Hamlet is to present the character of Hamlet as a potentially romantic hero. In different circumstances, Hamlet could be. One of the key functions of the comic aspects of Hamlet is to present the character of Hamlet as a potentially romantic hero. In different circumstances, Hamlet could actually be the hero of one of Shakespeare's romantic <laughs> plays. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> She's the characters of Polonius and Osric are both used in comic effect, amongst other things, of course. Polonius' first humorous aspect comes in 2 2, when Hamlet mocks his self importance attitude after his repetition of I. This comes after the intense scene with the ghost in 1 5. Good. It was going really well as well. I had it all artistically set up. Really well. <laughs> <laughs> Go. The characters of Polonius and Osric are amongst other things used for comic effect. Polonius' first humorous aspect comes in 2 2, when Hamlet mocks his self important attitude after his repetition of I. This comes after the intense scene with the ghost in 1 5, therefore serving to lighten the mood of the play. Osric in 5 2 is a reminder of the pompous Polonius. He was toyed with by Hamlet's scholarly languages, just as Polonius was in 2-2. Osric also serves as the king's new courtier, another parallel to...